Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this square, let's draw two perpendicular segments that touch to the side of this square. And this segment measures three units, and this segment measures four units. Now, our goal in this question is to find the length of the side of the square represented as x. Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this figure, then our goal is to find the value of x or the side length of this square. So, one thing to notice here is we have two similar triangles. Now, here they are. If we let this angle be equal to alpha and this angle be equal to beta, this angle is also alpha, and this is beta, and this is beta. Meaning, these two right triangles are similar to each other. Now, we know the side of this square is just x. Now, let's call this segment b equal to y. So, this segment right over here is just x minus y. Alright, now using the concept of similar triangles, we can now have the ratio of the hypotenuse to the longer leg. So we have 4 over x equals 3 over x minus y. So now, what we're going to do is to focus on this equation. So what we're going to do here is to cross multiply. So we have 4x minus 4y equals 3x. Then combine like terms. We have here negative 4y equals negative x. Divide both sides by negative 4, so we have y equals x over 4. In short, we can rewrite y in terms of x. So y is just x over 4. Now, from here, using this right triangle with a side length of 4, x, and y, using Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared. But we know that this y is x over 4. So we can replace this y with x over 4. Now, simplifying this, 4 squared is just 16. We all know that. And let's focus on this result. Now, x over 4 is the power of 2. This is just x squared over 16. Now, to eliminate this denominator 16, let's multiply all of this term by 16. Now, combine like terms. 16x squared plus x squared is 17x squared equals 16 squared. Now, to solve for x, because we want here the value of x or the side of the square, so divide both sides by 17. Divide both sides by 17, and now get the square root on both sides, and take note, x here is a positive number, so we don't care to the negative value of x. So get the square root on both sides, we have x equals 16 over square root of 17. Now, rationalize this number, because we don't want radicals on the denominator, so multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 17. So x is just 16 multiplied by square root of 17 all over 17. And that is the value of x or the side length of this square. Therefore, given this figure, then the side of this square is just 16 times square root of 17 all over 17 units. And as always, we are done.